President Kimball taught extensively the principles of repentance and forgiveness. At age 74, his book, The Miracle of Forgiveness, was published. Of this writing and of his teaching, Elder Boyd K. Packer recorded, quote, President Kimball himself is an experienced surgeon of sorts, not a doctor of medicine, but a doctor of spiritual well-being. Many a moral cancer has been excised, many a blemish of character has been removed. Many a spiritual illness of one kind or another has been cured through his efforts. Some on the verge of spiritual oblivion have been rescued by him. He has written a book, literally years in preparation, The Miracle of Forgiveness. Many have been protected by the counsel he has written. Countless others have been inspired to set their lives in order and have experienced that miracle. Now, young folks, in, uh, as I near the conclusion, may I plead with you that you never consider for one moment forsaking of this great principle. Yesterday, a young woman said to her fiancé, if you cannot get a temple recommend, then I am not about to spend my life with you. Now, there's a lot of strength in that. If his bishop and his stake president will not sign a recommend for him. There's something wrong. Something that's going to show up after they're married, after they have a family. Something that's going to continue. So, and then a certain young missionary said to his girlfriend, I'm sorry, as much, much as I love you, I will not marry out of the temple. On the brighter side, may I bring to your attention that some months ago, I divided a stake making two excellent ones in its place, in the process of searching for a new president for a state. We go with the process of elimination, and we get record, we get there, have an interview with each one. And uh, I find out all I can about these men because any one of them might possibly qualify to be the state president. Of the men we interviewed, we found that 29 men had 121 children. 
The average is four and three tenths children per family or six and three tenths persons per family. Not a single divorce among them. This was only 29 out of a community. There may have been hundreds more. But of these 29 men that I interviewed, not a single divorce among them. No broken homes in these 29 families. Every child of the 121 had two parents, a father and a mother, which is very unusual these days. To have two parents, a mother and a father, no divorce had broken these homes. All of the men were fairly well employed and fairly well off. 43 of the children were teenagers, but there were no serious problems. They were probably uh, had some questions, as many young people do, but there were no serious problems. Every one of these 29 men was married in the Holy Temple. Every one of these 121 children was born under the covenant. None of you have any right, any right whatever, to rob your children of that privilege. Not any one of you has that right. When you marry, you should marry for your family, not for your selfish desires and passions. I suggest that you read President Spencer W. Kimball's inspired book, The Miracle of Forgiveness. It continues to help the faithful avoid the pitfalls of serious transgression. It likewise is an excellent handbook for those who have committed serious errors and want to find their way back. Read the last two chapters first to appreciate the full miracle of forgiveness before reading anything else. The article in the Leahona, which is free, you sh we should read that and we should accept the prophetic teachings of today. We don't want to go back to the, to the miracle of forgiveness by President Kimball. You, you know what he said in his diary before he died? If I could go back, I would rewrite that book. 
So let's, let's drop the dead prophets and embrace the living.